Inu News, which is what this video will address. And as usual, thank you for your support. Please click the subscribe button and like button to let the algorithm know that you value our presence. Shiba is currently down roughly 6.3%, trading at 4 zeros 1238 as of this precise time. As you can see, its 24 hour high was 1342. It has even dropped as low as 1189. We have a situation where this is a 50 day moving average line right here. And you can see that the trend line has actually broken below that if we look at it over on trading view. And there is a slight difference if I change this to say, a 20 day moving average to see how that appears. However, we went on. And we simply have to watch as that hierarchy keeps falling below this, this, and this moving average. So if you look at kind of what you know, what that looks like, is kind of like that, then we do have a type of downward tendency here. It is still unclear what will happen next, but if you keep sort of looking at that, you can see that trend line has obviously been established. Okay, so I currently have this set to the 4 hour, but if I tried to alter it to the 1 hour, the tail would be quite similar. We do, in fact, have the decline you're mentioning. And you know, I'm going to keep an eye on this for you and kind of keep watching to see how it develops. However, these moving averages are indicating to me that the market is, in fact, kind of moving downward. This makes sense given that, according to these moving averages, the market has moved downward by 3%. Earlier, just a few hours ago, it actually reached a high of around 6% and a low of about 6%. You can see that, depending on when you're watching this video, Bitkin is currently rather near to his 24-hour low. Okay, so this is roughly where we are at the moment. The market as a whole is under pressure. You can clearly see that it is impacting SHIB because it is right here. Bitcoin is also being impacted by it. You might consider this to be a 4-hour chart for Bitcoin as well, kind of operating similarly there. Change this to around an hour, please. Yes, I am aware that this is a brief movie, but hey, if you kind of look at what's going on, you can see that Bitcoins are moving down on their own. They most definitely have that type of move down line that moves and then releases. We're there. That's kind of there. And now it is clear that this one won't be as good. But all I'm really doing is sort of showing you is the downward arc pattern, is that right? And yes, that's what I'll talk about there. I'm just sort of considering that as a corollary to Bitcoin's decline, with SHIBs obviously declining a little more quickly. We made greater progress on that time frame. But for now, it's just curious, we have a tiny bounce up. Whether or not it can move up from there or goes that way is still to be seen. Kind of what we have yet to witness is that. You know, we had this pretty fantastic spike shortly before. Naturally, we then had a sell off. And this kind of carries on from that. But as you may be aware, we have been in this downward trend for the past 5 days or so. You are actually looking at data that spans around 5 days in this case. Right and just keeping going down you know? So that's the most recent development. Now, here is what we have going for us. We've got Shavram coming up you know. At least, that is what we anticipate. Regarding the current state of the Wish Herbarium. Nothing new has been reported. Regarding the precise date, estimates suggest that the beta test will be released between February 14th and 15th. If it really does happen, expect to see SHIB surge, bone rise, and other similar things simply because of the FOMO, fear of missing out, effect. Stay tuned, and if you haven't already, please click the like button. As always, I thank you and will continue to keep an eye on this for you. Additionally, if I have any upcoming information about charts, SHIB, or other similar topics, I'll return to discussing that without a doubt. Okay, bye.